Hey, hi everyone. So, free body diagram three. Um, this one is a bit complicated, but let's get it started. So, what's our object of interest? This thing, this whole thing right here, is our object of interest, including this modern thing. Okay, it's a bit complicated. Um, but for me, right, I think if I draw a line like this to represent the object, it's good enough. You don't need to consider the L shape of the thing. Let make things a bit complicated. I just draw this to represent my what do you call this? Cock screw or whatever. I don't know what's the name of this tool. Okay, so first thing first, five question. Does this thing has mass? Yes, we assume it's a uniform rigid body. So you have your weight coming out from the center of the tool then next thing is is there any rope strings or cables nothing very obvious there's no strings no rope no no cable so next is there any force being explicitly stated yes there is one here so you label that force here okay next thing is there any friction well, <clears throat> this is a bit complicated. Uh, you can consider this to be because of friction. You can consider this to be because of normal. It's because of some kind of forces, which I, I myself don't know how to determine it properly. Okay, so uh, it's a bit complicated. So let's just consider it a, a force. I don't know what's the name. We just say that's a force due to the cock. Maybe. Okay, uh, if you write normal, if you write friction, I think it's acceptable. But I just write force because I don't know what, how to classify that exactly. Okay, so uh, that's friction and stuff. Then the last question is reaction force. Well, uh, you can consider this part to be a pivot. In this case, if you look at the diagram, if you try to draw the diagram, this is your bottle. And the the tool, red color, the tool is is like this. The tool is going up like this, so I can assume that here there's a ninety degree, so we can put a normal force here. My drawing is terrible, but I think it's reasonable to call this a normal force, which is going upwards. A lot of the time in chapter eight, right? As long as you understand what you're doing, right? Then it's fine. If you want to call this a reaction force, I think it's acceptable as well. No problem with that. Okay, so with that said, I think I finished drawing the Kirby diagram for this. Wait, this one they provide you the length. They provide you the length. It's important for you to label it. So label usually, if you label distance, we usually fix a pivot first. So if I take this part as my pivot, then I label all my forces with respect to the pivot. So the force by the cock, uh, it's 9 mm. Uh, the weight, which is from here to here, uh, it will be 9 mm plus 70 mm divided by 2, which I can't use my head to figure it out right now so I will just write it as 79 divided by 2 millimeter you should go calculate it uh, because I didn't calculate it and then from here to the end of this thing it should be the total length of the tool which is 79 millimeter okay so finish drawing all these things you label the force you label the distance it's a complete free body diagram for this situation. Nothing much to comment about. Let's move on and see the students' responses. Well, uh, the weight of the bottle. Hmm, this is interesting. But let's call, let's start from here. The weight of the of the not rod. I think you can call it bottle opener or corkscrew opener or whatever but it should come out from the center if you assume it to be a uniform 
rigid body. And then the force no problem. The weight of the bottom. Now here's the problem. Uh, if you draw the free body diagram for the bottle, then there's weight of the bottle. And because you have your toe pressing on top of the bottle, this is your bottle, right? Your toe is pressing on top of the bottle, only it can open the, the cock, right? So if it's pressing like this, so the bottle will feel a normal force pushing downward because of the toe. Okay, this will be the free body diagram of the bottle. So this weight of the bottle belongs to the free body diagram of the bottle. It does not belong to the free body diagram of the toe. Okay, you have to remember very clearly that the purpose of drawing a free body diagram is to draw illustrate all the forces acting on the object of interest. If you are drawing the free body diagram for the toe, you are drawing all the forces being acted on the toe. The weight of the bottle is not pushing down on the toe. Your toe is not being pushing down by the bottle. So this thing is inappropriate. Okay, something should be wrong. Instead, you your toe is pressing on the bottle so your bottle is preventing your toe from going down that's why there's a normal force pointing upward uh, you label here it as a reaction force it's possible it's possible i'm not sure it's possible okay but this weight of the bottle probably should be something like a force because of the cock something like that Okay, then one thing I'm really curious is why do you label the distance like this? This is a distance to where? Where is this place? Okay, your 70 comes here. Where is this place? There's nothing here. Okay, so when you label the distance, it should have a purpose. It should be with respect to the force. Okay, you can see this distance is for this f of the cock this distance is for the weight of the tool this distance is for the external force exerted so label the distance it has meaning okay next one this one there's normal uh, there's weight okay there's external force that's normal but you are neglecting what's happening here okay there's things happening here so there should be uh, probably something I, until now i still don't know what should i label i just label external force because of the cock okay then again the label the distance if you know the distance do label it next thing force where is your weight i believe you draw your weight here but the weight doesn't follow any of the forces the position of the weight always come out from the center if it's a uniform rigid body always come out from the center of the object normal is fine you need an force because of the cork okay next thing uh, this is complicated but i think you get the idea this one shouldn't be here. This one should be somewhere here. Then normal. The cock is preventing you from going upwards easily. The cock is like pulling you down. If you if there's no screw there, then you can easily turn your you can you easily lift up your tool. Or if the cock stuck there, it's it's more difficult to lift up the tool. So actually the cock with the screw there is pulling it downward. So it actually should be the cock okay label the distance as well uh, it's a similar situation this thing should be at the middle the normal force should be at the end then you should have a force because of the cock okay uh, let's, let me just go through it first um 
you draw here there's a pivot here so if you have a pivot here there should be a normal force going up then i assume this one you are talking about the screw and the cork so we'll probably label it then you forgot about the weight of the tool itself okay so that's it for free boy diagram number three thank you very much